We're going to do some real wood binding on my tone wood testing acoustic guitar. You can either purchase this stuff or cut it up yourself. I had some Paul Ferro, which I'm using for the fretboard that I cut up on my bandsaw. And I took it to my drum sander and sanded it down. And I've got a heat blanket that I'm going to use to heat up the wood to about 170 degrees. We're going to wrap this up in some tin foil and water. So I'm going to do four strips. I didn't have a long enough piece to cover the whole top, but I do have four pieces that I'll cut, cover up the top. So I get some water and I just spray each side, make sure it's just a little bit wet. Not too much so it warps, but just enough essentially on the surface. And I wrap this up in some tin foil, keep it sealed. I've got my heat blanket. I turn it on for about an hour at 170 degrees, heat it up. So while that's waiting, I take my Stumac binding bits and I bind the body. So I'll run that bit across the top and the bottom. That's one of the greatest things about Stumac is the binding bits. And we'll take this out one piece at a time and we're gonna wrap this. And by pre-bending it here, the wood's gonna get formed to that shape and it'll be much easier to glue. So I've seen guys glue this with super glue and bend it at the same time and I, I think that's too much of a pain. What I like to do is pre-bind this, get a little bit of the binding tape and just make sure that the binding then dries back to this shape and then applying glue and gluing it on is a relatively quick process. So we do the two pieces and that curve right there is the hardest curve. This is a pretty wide guitar body so I didn't really have too much bending. That's why I was okay using the two strips is that one curve right there. I wish I would have had one piece but you know didn't have it. So we're going to overlap the joints here and then we're going to come back and mark the joints and sand them and cut them and we're going to do it so they overlap. So once this is set for 24 hours, we'll take this back off and you can see how it fits. So we're going to mark where we need to do the lap joint, take off the tape and you can see how well that fits and the gluing is going to be pretty much a snap. So we're going to draw on the binding where it actually needs to be cut and we'll cut it. And we'll take this to a little piece of sandpaper I dropped on the top and we're going to do one by hand and then one with the machine just to show you the difference. So we'll test fit this a couple times. And we want to overlap the joints and not do a butt joint. When you overlap, you have less uh, chance of actually seeing in between the hole. If you just do a butt joint where the two ends come together, it may not fit right. And if you don't get it perfectly 90 degrees, it's not going to sit. So doing an overlapping joint really helps sort of make it look clean, even if it's not perfect. So we'll sand this up. And I overlap each joint, so I've got to do this on when I lay it down and when I put it over. So we'll test this a couple of times, make sure it looks right. Get it to fit. I'll mark the other one as well. So then I'm going to use this go-to glue, which is like an epoxy and a super glue, but it has a longer open time. I didn't want to use super glue. It has a short open time and it sticks immediately. And if you don't set it right, it becomes a mess. And I like that the go-to glue has a little bit of an open time. So it's about got about a 30 minute open time and it dries in 24 hours. So I'll spread it out. And then we'll just take the binding and tape it on. So since it's already pre-bent, all I have to do is just tape this piece on. So get the clamp to hold it. And we're just going to get the Stumac binding tape. This is the old binding tape. Still had a roll. 
the orange stuff works okay. It's not as good as this stuff. The really is the best binding tape. So we'll just tape this on. It's pre-bent. Make sure it's tight. And I clamp that one edge there just to keep it tight. So then when we match to the other side, we're going to go ahead and test fit it back and forth, back and forth to see how it fits. So once it looks pretty close, we'll just sand it off, fit it, see how it looks again. And again, this is a, a back and forth process to make sure it looks right. And if you've got a disc sander, this actually can go really quick. And what I like doing with the disc sander is making that lap joint a little bit longer. So in some instances, we use the tape because we had it. And then on the back side, I actually use this long piece of rubber that I got from LMII. Once you take the rubber tape off, I've got a little bit of a lip. I always leave it a little fat. So it's messy here after all the glue. All I did is I took this upstairs to my sanding station, sanded it down 120, and it's looking pretty good. So we're making progress here, and that was just a quick video on real wood binding. We'll be testing some taps out real soon with this guitar. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next vid.